So, uh, Master Darren D.O.G., <laughs> it wasn't actually a title that that was attributed to you uh, in honour of your awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, not it's not something that you use with students. Let's no. say no, no, um, no, 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 no. So, how did you come to have the master title? Well, we've all we've all got it. Is my point. I just started to use it again. So, I yeah, like you say, I'm not using the title master in any sort of spiritual or hierarchical context. It's purely to do with uh, my relationship with public servants because. My belief is that the master title is our constitutional title that recognises that we the people are the top of the chain of authority in this country, that we are the ones who um, call the shots as it were, and that that has been not only forgotten but misapplied by our employed servants. So you're talking about master as opposed to mister? Yes, 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 yes. I think that's the great trick that's been played that's allowed the employer, which, which is, sorry, the employee, which is the public servants, to flip the tables on the employer, which is us, and start to tell us what to do, has been done through title. So we're the kind of ones that have been whipped into performance now through not just taxation, but charging and, you know, constant money grabbing from the state. And this has been done through title. So the title master is what recognises our employee employership. So, I mean, it's true that the... The modern governance refers to itself as the authority. Yeah. We, we, there are many local authorities. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, and this is part of the this is part of the uh, yeah part of the problem really is this idea of authority that's been taken by public servants. Um, some time ago, the table was flipped somehow. I believe it was through title, um, the Mister title, the one that we are all casually um, given is. Uh, means a business or a trade. It comes from the word mystery, and mystery archaically is just a business or a trade. That is not an employer, that's a worker, you know, and this is how the um, government and governance or so-called authorities have then kind of um, demanded performance from us. Now, I've adopted the master title to flip the tables back round again because in relation to the public servant, I'm not a further servant, I'm not a subordinate of the servant, I'm the employer in this context. So in this context, I'm the master. So, um, some people would say that this really only applies to men. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the, the female titles relate to marriage, uh, well, predominantly, uh, with Mrs. Yeah. and Miss. Yeah. So, what would you propose modern women employ? As a, as a title? Yeah, I would suggest the same. I think the same. I think we've got a big problem to do with women, um, you know, seeking equality and seeking, you know, equanimity between the sexes. Well, the, the easiest way to do it is to have the same title. Then we're not, it's not gender specific then. Isn't that much better than any of the other options, really? The problem is obviously some women will have a, take issue with the title master as being a sexualised title, being about men, but it's actually not. It's a completely asexual title. The definitions of it in the legal dictionaries I've looked at are all about the master is the employer, the master is the creditor and the principal, the master is the captain of their ship. It's not, nothing about being a man in there. It's all, you know, a woman can be any of those things. And in relation to public servants, where the servant can be either a man or a woman, that means that the relationship's the same, though. It's the master. It's, you know, well, you're the servant at the minute, I'm the employer, so therefore I'm the master. It's, and it, it doesn't matter whether you're a man or a, man or a woman. So what about the Miss title? Yeah, Miss, Miss, Miss goes, dates back to when women didn't have the rights that men had, when they couldn't work, they couldn't vote, and all this sort of thing. And if you picture a form that says title, forename, and surname on it, and you stick Miss under the title field, just picture it, Miss under that title field... That actually means miss this, skip this, no title. So miss still continues to represent the fact that women have no entitlement. Because all of our title is so important in this country. All of our entitlements come from our title. And so for women, when they had the miss title, it meant they had no entitlement. They were, they were you know, 
no status whatsoever. So taking the master title would just fix that outright. And so Mrs? Mrs is one which is a funny one as a spell and as a word because if you read it, it just says Murs, doesn't it? It's Murs, it's not a word. Now, unlike Mr, you, so, so Mr when it's abbreviated to MR, you will also see that expanded to say Mr. You will never see Mrs expanded. And if you do, people will tend to put mistress there, which isn't actually true because mistress used to refer to the bit on the side, as it were, or the, the woman other than the main woman in the home, in a way. Now, yes, I know there are some references to mistress having the, uh, you know, the mistress of the house as being the equivalent of master, but it has too muddy a connotation for it to be correct. As a word, I believe, is missing an apostrophe. Because you have to look at when a woman gets the title Mrs. She gets it when she marries a mister. And actually, it's missing an apostrophe. It, the, the, the term is misters. So we have a mister and misters. It's actually saying that she's become the, the, uh, the property of the business or belonging to the business is what misters is or misses. It means belongs to the mister.